Oh God, we're going on the H3 podcast with a beanie. And um, the beanie isn't exactly working and we have to be there. We have to leave it. We have like an hour and a half to try to make the beanie work. Wow. I'm also just kind of freaking out in general about the idea of going on the H3 podcast because everything we do is edited. So it gives me like a final filter if I say something stupid or make a bad joke, which happens. It happens a lot. I make lots of bad jokes. Cameraman John Wright. Yeah, and you know, sometimes they might be considered a little offensive. And you know what? Sometimes I swear. Not in, I try to not swear in videos, but in real life, sometimes William Osmond swears. I kind of wish we could have just given it to them like immediately because, oh God. We took parts off of it for the alarm clock cap. I've taken parts off of it for other things. And now we have to go figure out where those parts are. Here's one of them. It's a speaker. Are we putting the smoke in it? That's gonna cause a lot of problems. Okay, they wanna start at 2.30, which means it's 11.30 now. That's three hours and it takes over an hour to get there. Okay, okay. There's something about like live. You gotta tone it down. We can be loud and obnoxious right now because we can cut all the bits out that are too loud and too obnoxious. Ah! But when you're live, people expect you to be like as entertaining as you are in an edited video, which is impossible unless you have, I don't know, unless you have magic. Maybe first things first, <clears throat> we just plug it in and see what happens. Meow. All right, that ain't right. Uh, where is a USB cable that fits into that? This is great. I don't know where anything is. We need one of those big fat printer USB cables. Cameraman John doesn't have to experience any of this. He just gets to like hide, ah, hide behind the camera. And your boy, William Osmond, gets to like be the one who panics and gets to potentially ruin his YouTube career by going on the H3 podcast and saying something bad. I, I don't think I'm gonna say something bad. I mean, I, I am not gonna say something bad. It's just like the fear of Playing Snake, you playing, you playing Zelda. I played that for like four hours yesterday when I should have been rebuilding a beanie. Yes, 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 yes. Air compiling. Oh God, are you kidding me? Why? Why? What? Oh no. Looks like H3 might be getting his beanie with some screaming Alan yeah. Tan code yeah. on it. Uh, uh, uh. They said we're gonna be on for like 20 minutes. That doesn't make me feel like a very like uh, special guest, but sort of an on, like a temperate, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Like supplemental to whatever show. So hey, what, what we've learned is that we're not exciting so enough. Creeps on my, I'm gonna teach these kids a lesson. Do we need the smoke? The smoke is just gonna cause us all, oh, we could try to like purposely light something on fire in there. Actually, you know, how about we don't play with fire? I think that's gotten us into a lot of trouble in the past. And it's still so, you know, like a sore subject, but. So many creeps online. I'm gonna teach these kids a lesson. God set you up! We could hook it up to a remote control so you can like twiddle it by hand. There's the guts of our battle, but I'm gonna unplug this, this is kind of annoying. I think it's more interactive if we can control the beanie with the remote. So this is still fun and we can leave it, but to swap it, what we have to do is pull the servo off, plug it into this receiver, and then we could hook the smoke up to it. We could make the smoke remote control no matter what. We could also control the smoke by, oh God. Yep, let's do that remote control. <sighs> unplug these, unplug that servo. We don't need that servo anymore. Should be out of here by one. I feel like I worry a lot about things that maybe I shouldn't worry about. Was up and down one or two? I can't remember. We'll just plug it in. Where is my AA battery holder? Where is it? I'm gonna go dig in the box outside because that potentially is where it is. I either have too much stuff, not enough places to keep it well enough organized. I'm kind of leaning towards that I just have too much stuff. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, we've got a model for the beanie. I forgot about that. This is from Natalie. There's bugs in there. That's gross. I'm actually worried that one day soon I'll go online and see news stories about YouTuber William Osmond butchering and eating his caretaker while forcing Cameraman John to record it. What?
It looks like this, but it's got like a little hobby plug on the end of it. Wow. 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 Nothing like a little bit of good old fashioned panic. Maria is the beanie model. This actually is very helpful. It's me, Maria. I like to skateboard and drink cheap beer. It does kind of look like a dude with lipstick on. Cameraman John, are we going here to demo a thing? Are we going here to like make something that they can interact with that's interesting to watch? Because like if we just want to sit there and watch it cycle through names, like that's not that exciting. Like we want to play with it. So that means we want to hook it up to the remote. But then are we going to give it to them? Do they want this permanently? Because then it's like if they want it permanently, we got to pull the smoke out of it because I don't think I'm qualified to be, you know, building a high current smoke mechanism and giving it to someone, especially after. <laughs> Like, I don't want someone else to burn their house down. I know I didn't burn my house. Okay, I've been through the experience of losing your house and everything in it. And I feel putting smoke in this beanie is like playing Russian roulette. That's too big. That's not bad. I don't even know the charge level of any of these. <gasps> Ooh, that's tiny. That might work. Okay, so before we plug that in, let's make sure this is kind of doing what it should be doing. Ah! <laughs> Why did we wait until the very last minute? There, that can turn on, that can go there, and then... Hey, how about we just cut to it working? Yeah, okay, we'll see you guys soon. All right. I just told them that we'd see them soon with a functioning beanie, and little do they know that uh, that's the exact opposite of what our beanie is doing. The smoke is causing all our problems, but I feel the smoke has to happen. Receiver set up. Didn't we say we'd come back when it's done, and we came back and it's not done at all? So. Yep, the driver that will drive the smoke is powered by a 12 volt 3S LiPo. So this produces five volts, which powers the receiver. So we didn't need that battery pack I was freaking out about earlier and I still haven't found. Now we gotta go into the settings. That's open and that's closed. It's closing a little too much. I don't wanna break anything. So let's go down to endpoints. I was gonna say an hour, but it's actually less than an hour. We have 45 minutes before we need to be on the road. I don't know where we are in the video, but what I wanna share with you is probably one of the most drastic and horrifying things I've ever done in my life. I'm taking a, per perf a perfectly good pair of uh, wire leads and uh, ah! These are like $14 and I just cut them with a pair of scissors. I have to connect to Wago lever nuts, my newfound favorite way of connecting things together uh, because the old way was, was tape and these like banana jumper things. Wow, that actually felt kind of like freeing. I feel liberated. How was that for you, cameraman John? I feel you're probably indifferent to it because you don't care. You just want to play Nintendo Switch. Not sponsored, but, but. I mean, I feel very, um, a little stressed right now if that wasn't apparent. Hey, is that, is that all on? That means that it should work. Let's hook this up to something that's not going to catch on fire. Think about it, the drum loader actually probably totally could catch on fire. Okay, so that's working, but for some reason... Oh, 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 why wasn't that? Okay, it's working. I don't think anyone's ever used remote control for something like this. No, probably. The movie industry uses this stuff. What am I talking about? I was planning on taking a shower before going, and that's not happening because we could barely do the thing that we absolutely need to do before going, and that is bringing a functional beanie. We'll see you in the car. You actually can't believe that we're on time. Normally we're way behind. Oh, there's traffic. Uh, but cameraman John, I think, has figured that the show's not live anymore. I never watched any of the live portions of it, just the the um, episodes after they came out onto YouTube. <laughs> if it's not live, that's a huge relief. I don't know what we're getting ourselves into. I'm hungry though, so let's go eat. And then we can panic. Do we want energy drinks? Do we want to be all hyped up? We want to be like all like, Yo, what up, Ethan? It's your boy. It's your hobo. 
No, we don't want that. We do want that or we don't want that? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Four, three, two. We're back. We've got here the inventor of the coughing beanie. We got sound effects. Turn it up, Dan. <laughs> I didn't say anything bad or inappropriate or offensive that I know of. Uh, and we gave Ethan the beanie. We should have filmed it. But instead of filming it, Cameraman John will make a very crude stick figure animation of me taking the beanie, ripping the smoke electronics out of it, telling Ethan how to use it, and then a thousand bees poured out of Ethan's face, and then putting it on a table inside the uh, podcast room. And then the beanie caught on fire. Just kidding, it never caught on fire. It totally, we burned the, uh, the smoke generator out though, so go check it out. There'll be a link in the description or at the end if you want to watch the podcast or clips from the podcast. Yeah, it was a genuinely enjoyable experience. Thank you very much, Ethan and Ela, and the rest of your team. And um, yep, see you next time.